All right, in today's episode training for Thrive Car, I want to show you exactly how to create a checkout page for a retreat. But you can also use this for a program. You're going to come up to the top dashboard and click on products. I've already done a few tests on here, so I'm going to walk you through Epic Retreat Online Program. But if you've never done it with me before or on your own, then just hit Create Product. If you've already done it, click Edit. The first thing that we'll look at is the name of your retreat. So imagine that we're doing the Soul Awakening Retreat. You can do this with me or you can watch. And then a cool thing that you get to do is put any checkout page URL here. I always name it by the country just because I do several. I'm going to put one because I already have that. Make sure that you hit live so that you're able to share the link. Then you're going to come into pricing and this is where you get to edit it for a one-time fee or a subscription. So if it's a one-time fee of say one room is $1,800, when you go to, all right, I wanna show you here, limited quantity available. Imagine that you only have four rooms at this price. Then you would hit quantity limit four. Maybe there's nine. You choose how many rooms you have at this price, and this is where you name it. So, bunk house 1800. But you'll just put bunk house. Only allow one purchase at a time, or if they you want to let them do two purchases at a time because they're booking with a friend, you can choose. I'll just do two, multiple, and then save. And then you would come in here and do another add option. I'm doing edit, one-time fee. Imagine that there's a one-time fee now of $2,200. And you have four rooms at that price. Allow two to purchase. Hit save. And then you would come under here and hit edit. And then do a subscription, monthly price. Say they want to do the 1800 and you're going to give 1800 You're going to give that to them for a six-month payment plan. So 1800 divided by six. It's normally 300 but you're going to charge an extra $25 for the payment plan, for example. Maybe you only want to let five people do this. Or maybe you're like, okay, I want to give it to them for the same price and give it to them as a purchase of $1,800. So you choose the monthly price and then you would just put bunk house payment plan. And then you want to do another pricing for the standard room payment plan. Subscription. How much monthly? So $2,200. You choose if you're going to add on a fee. This would be, we'll round up. It's 36666, but we'll just round it up and say it's $370 a month. I usually don't put on a fee for an extension or a payment plan in my retreats. Yes, limit, five, and save. And then here you would just put standard, standard room payment plan. And you can do this for as many rooms as you have. After this, I'm gonna show you how to do a discount code in case you want to do an early bird pricing, like $200 off, and then they could just put a coupon code at the end of the transaction. Bunkhouse, standard room, bunkhouse payment plan, standard room payment plan, and then any other pricing that you have. For example, you could do one-time fee 
of $500, no limit, multiple people can purchase at once, non-refundable, and then that could be an option, and I would just have this be the first, and then, so this would be the first option on the checkout page, I would have the bunkhouse payment plan below, just like this. What you see here is what you're going to see on the checkout page. For the bump, if you want to add in an additional offer, it's something that's going to be compatible with the retreat. I like to add on manifestation activation, but for this training, we'll do no add-on. Processors, here you're going to add in your options for payments and how you are going to process payments. This is where you would set up an affiliate link. So anyone that sells your retreat for you gets a commission, which is always a great thing for you to do. It's a good strategy to use. So you would put that here if you decide. And then coming into fulfillment, what do you want to happen after they sign up? Do you want to send them their invoice, send them to a URL? add them to a membership site. This could just be sending them the invoice with, with your email, and then I'll show you how to add behaviors in the next training. And then going into checkout, I already have a training for this. If you've not watched it before, you can head over to Amber Hagberg and go to the Thrive Cart playlist, and I teach you how to design this. And then behaviors, I'll show you how to do this here but I'll also create a special training just for this. When the main product is purchased for any price, add them to ConvertKit, add them to a sequence. And then you would add them to a sequence inside. I have so many. <laughs> and it's the December 2023 retreat. And so when the main product is purchased for any price, they're going to get a sequence inside of ConvertKit. I also show you how to do this inside of my Sold Out Retreat mini course. If you're already in there, then you know using ConvertKit, but you don't have to use ConvertKit. You can use any email software, creating a sequence where it says you're in, you've booked your retreat, here's what to do next, and then save. The other thing that you'll want to do always is add them to a tag. And the reason that you want to add them to a tag is so that your email software is really clear on how and where they are within your system. So if you ever want to send out an email to anyone that has signed up for your leadership retreat, you just have to include the tag when you're creating the email. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions on pricing and how to put that in, you can put them in the comments below. I'm going to show you just before we go what this is going to look like. So you'll come to checkout, go to customize, click on launch editor. And this is what it's going to look like when someone wants a price. But I'll show you that it looks prettier if you hit rows so that when they're checking out, they have the option to select from these. And it's your job on the checkout page and sales page to describe what the bunkhouse is, to describe what the standard room is, and to describe your process on the checkout sales page so they understand clearly which one they want to choose. You can choose if you like it this way. I feel like rows just makes it easier to read. And so you may have five options here. The le options that you have here, the better because they don't need to think about it. The clearer you are on the sales page, the better. If you don't already have Thrivecart, use my affiliate link in the comments below and I will continue to support you in creating the highest converting best sales page, checkout page using Thrivecart yet. All right, I'm excited to hear from you and I'll talk to you in the next episode.